What's going on guys? This is Eddie from Man Made Kennels and today we're going to talk about puppy swimmers. This is something that happens when owners of puppies allow them to roll around on flat surfaces and sometimes it's a breed thing. You know, French Bulldogs, English Bulldogs, they're very susceptible to swimmers. Um, exotic bullies, um, just a lot of the small breed dogs are susceptible to swimmers. But we're going to teach you today how to prevent this from happening and then some techniques that you can do to kind of get them back on track. So first thing we're going to tell you is, is do not allow them to lay on flat surfaces. Use egg crates. Use something to keep a ravine in the bottom of the, of the whelping box. You know, some towels or something underneath the, the mat. That way their legs are, are elevated. They're not laying on flat areas. And it will help encourage them to bring the legs in. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use some of this tape here. And this tape right here is super important because what it's going to do is it's going to, we're going to use it to support bringing their legs in. And so my trusty sidekick over here, Emma, Man Made Kennels Emma, she's going to hold this piece for me. So I'm just going to make a long strip. I'm going to cut it off. And I'm going to ask her to hold that for me for a second. You got that, baby? Yeah. I'm going get, to get another one. We're going to make it about the equal length. These might be a little bit overkill, but you guys at home, ah, I'm not that strong. All right. So we're going to take this piece right here and we're just going to get grab the back leg of our dog. Now on the back leg, we want to grab above the ankle, below the knee. So above the ankle, below the knee. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take this tape and we're going to bring them together. All right. So you guys at home can see I'm not the best at this, right? So I'm doing this on the spot. My wife, Sarah, she's usually like amazing at this type of stuff. But all I'm trying to do is get a strip of tape on there so that I can get that leg together in a few minutes. I'm going to take this other one and I'm going to put it on the other side of this puppy's leg. So I'm going to lay it on this on its side. This puppy doesn't have a problem anymore. Uh, when she was about three weeks old, she was a little bit, uh, she was just big. You know, she's so big that she was having a hard time um, bringing those legs in when she was running around. And so what we did, we, we did this technique right here. And now she's, as you can see, she's holding her weight up pretty good. But what we want to do is now we want to connect these two together. So you see two legs. These are, the, these are representations of two legs. They would normally be laying out like that if they have swimmers. And so I'm just gonna take some tape and I'm gonna bring those two together the best that I can on this video without having Sarah help me out. Sarah, you wanna help me? No, you're doing Come great. here, baby, come you're here, come great. here, come on. You're Show them that we're a team, we're a team. Yes, Sarah, yes. come tag me in real quick, baby. Come yes, tag yes. me in. Okay, so is this enough tape? That's perfect. Look, we're a team. Now you're Hold on, hold on, come on, come on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this puppy turned around. Let's tape them together. All right, she's gonna help me take these puppies together. You might need a partner. Emma's a great partner, guys, I promise you she is. It's just today we need Sarah. And Sarah is the mother of pit bulls, but she's the mother of all of us, okay? So she takes care of that is a horrible job. But let me just show you, you get the point, right? And what we're doing here is, as you can see, she's standing up on her back legs. Now I'll tell you, at two and a half weeks old, this this was getting a little bit nerve wracking. Um, it would for anybody that owns uh, dogs that have the potential to have swimmers. And if you see them laying their legs out like that, it will stress you out. But this works, guys. Um, just make sure you stay on top of it. How many times a day were you putting the tape on? I usually do two, maybe three, depending on how bad. So keep the legs tight, keep them up, encourage them to keep it like this. And before you know it, they'll be running around having a great time. All right, Sarah? Yep. Appreciate you guys watching this at home. As you can see, we're a big family. Hit that subscribe button. We'll keep teaching you as much as we can. And we love you guys very much. Now, mind you, I do know how to do this, all right? So don't let Sarah <laughs> trick you into thinking I don't. On the count of three, you know how to do it at home. One, two, three. Peace, Peace. man-made man -made kennels. kennels. God bless, guys.